Well, hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Travel with Rick. I'm your host Rick Howard and I want to welcome you to our weekly video blog dedicated to the most magical places on earth. We've got a great video lined up for you this week. I'm actually here at my house in Vero Beach, but the video we have for you is at a really magical place kind of near the Magic Kingdom. I guess that makes it especially magical. Actually, we're going to be going through Disney's Contemporary Resort today and showing you um, around the resort, showing you some of the great features of this resort. It is absolutely um, one of my favorite resorts now, particularly with the addition of Bay Lake Tower right next door. Um, most of you guys will know that uh, that Disney's Contemporary Resort is made up of a main tower building and originally it had a couple of wings on it um, and one of those garden wings was uh, um, demolished, taken down uh, and replaced by a new DVC resort uh, called Bay Lake Tower and that's right next door it's connected uh, to the main tower building by a bridge and it's uh, primarily built for vacation club but anyone can stay there it has a great um, lounge viewing area for fireworks up um, on the 16th floor there's 15 uh, yeah 16th floor and uh, it's just a great place to go up and uh, have a cocktail have a you know uh, an appetizer and watch the fireworks up there or just go up there and sit and enjoy yourself and um, just a great viewing of the fireworks. I think I actually um, enjoy seeing the fireworks up there as much as I do maybe even from the California Grill next door. But that's another great thing about Disney's Contemporary Resort. Actually has one of my very favorite restaurants on property uh, in the main tower building, the California Grill. And uh, many of you will like the Contemporary also because of a couple of other restaurants that they have there, particularly Chef Mickey's, which is a fan for adults and kids alike. I should say kids and uh, um, adults or kids of all ages. Uh, everybody loves Chef Mickey's. Just a great place to dine and see the characters there. Um, they also have Contempo Cafe, which replaced the Concourse Steakhouse that uh, many of you will remember from a few years ago. And then down on the first floor where the arcade used to be in the Contemporary Resort, they have a new restaurant called The Wave. Uh, and I'm actually liking that restaurant a lot. It's a great place. I've never not had breakfast there, but it's a great place to go for lunch. And we've recently had dinner there, and it's just a great place for dinner as well. Contemporary is just a wonderful resort. Um, as you know, it is on the monorail, an A-frame building, so the monorail runs right through it. Um, you actually board the monorail on the fourth floor at the concourse there. And as a friend of mine likes to say, um, what could be bad about a hotel where a train runs right through it? I think that's just really, really cool. Um, there is a walkway right over to the Magic Kingdom, just a really short walk if you don't want to wait for the resort monorail, which actually goes the other way around and stops at the Ticket Transportation Center, the Polynesian, the Grand before it gets to the Magic Kingdom. So it's actually a good walk over, an easy walk, but a good idea to walk over to the Magic Kingdom. Then you can take the train right back, uh, the monorail, on your way back because then you'll be the first stop when you get on the monorail at the Magic Kingdom monorail station. It's the first stop on your way back around that loop. So a little tip for you there. But we absolutely love this resort and want to show it. Um, great pool, great marina, as I mentioned, great restaurants and uh, lots of things to do there. Uh, lots of convention space if you're a conventioner, if you stayed there for that, which we have four. Just got back from Destination D, um, the 40th uh, anniversary of Walt Disney World, which was really, really cool. So always a lot going on at the Contemporary. Great views of Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. So, uh, you know, just a lot to do there. You can see the Contemporary. You can see the Poly over across the lake. Great views of the Magic Kingdom and the fireworks, as I mentioned. So without further ado, let's take a look at... Disney's Contemporary Resort. Come on.
what did you think? Just awesome, right? Wouldn't you just want to stay there? I wish I was checking in tomorrow. Into, eh, checking in today. We'll leave now. Come on, let's go. We'll get a room at Disney Contemporary Resort. Spend a few days there. Walk over to the Magic Kingdom. Have dinner at California Grill. Some of the absolute best sushi in the world. Great California wine list. Um, incredible beef filet. Wonderful um, seasonal uh things that they bring in, lots of fresh Florida fish, lots of local grown vegetables and things. So, And the Wave does that a lot also. Um, they feature a lot of locally grown and sustainable things in the Wave. So just a really great couple of restaurants there. Just a great location to be, located you know, really, really close to the Magic Kingdom. Um, just a short walk away, short monorail ride away. So um, again, what could be wrong with a hotel that has a train running right through it, right? Well, this week's question of the week, gosh, it's just a no-brainer. Um, we've got to ask, what's your favorite Disney resort? Now, I look forward to reading your responses. I get asked this question all the time on Twitter, and you know, when I meet people in the parks and around, they'll ask, what's your favorite resort? We've been going there for years, and I always say, well, you know, it depends, um, particularly on what time of year we're going there or what we're doing or where we need to be you know if we're staying or doing things over at Epcot like the food and wine festival that we're looking forward to in October then I like to be at the boardwalk or the beach club just because it's so convenient for there um, during the holidays Wilderness Lodge is always a favorite living in Florida you don't really get the change of season so it's great to check in there see the tree um, you know, stay in that cabin thing, you kind of feel a little bit like you're up north, that's kind of nice. So, um, I, have, I have different resorts for different reasons and different seasons, so maybe you do too. So let me know below, um, and you can pick a couple, but make sure you say why. So, look forward to reading your comments this week. Um, as always, uh, they're like oxygen to me. Hope you're enjoying our new format. We're now showing this on YouTube, so I can now watch Travel with Rick on my iPad when I travel. So. Uh, we're glad that we're doing that. That's really cool. We're showing everything over on YouTube now and then and then that on Travel with Rick. So check us out over on YouTube. Make sure you give us some ratings over there. Give us some thumbs up, um, some likes, whatever. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on iTunes, uh, all the different places that we are. Love to hear from you guys on Twitter, wherever it is. Um, just love hearing from you guys. So look forward to seeing you right back here on another episode of Travel with Rick real soon. So long, everybody.